today our three dam ride started with a lovely breakfast at the Hens Dam. From this side, the upstream side, looks quite calm. But as soon as we look over the top of the dam wall and you see the water spilling over, it's anything but calm. at it from the downstream side you can just see the volume of water that is coming through the overflow but soon we went riding and as one can expect after heavy rain there were road hazards like gravel and we hit our first blockage our first road closed and that was to be a feature of the day and it turned our three dam ride into a one dam ride at the end of the day this is one of the roads we use regularly and you can see that it is still closed because the water is flowing over the causeway. Where I stop is actually where the high water mark was and if you look over on the far side just before the rise is the high water mark on the other side. And one of the other roads we ride regularly, this little bridge, the water was actually right to the top of uh, the rise. It's amazing how much water can come so quickly and disappear almost as quickly it seems. Along this stretch of road you can see the grass and debris that has been washed up against the fence. The farmers already started clearing it off and burning it, but some parts of the fence he hasn't yet cleared. So you can see the debris still attached to the fence in some places. And as he works, so his children are having fun down at the creek. Um, you just see them on the left. A little further along on the same road, you can see the waters flowed over there. And again, you can see it flowed right over that fence with the debris on there. This is a bridge just a little way downstream from there. The water had flowed up over the bridge and the debris of the bridge has been cleared but if we look upstream you can see some damage I didn't manage to get it very well but the water had been right up there another road close sign and another road water had come up from the river over this road and you can see a bit of sand still on the road here. This bit of road was, um, I think, about knee-deep underwater. And there's the river down there. You can see how much water came up and how it's receded. Another bridge, another opportunity to have a look at that's the water's down, still higher than its usual level, but those trees on the center island are all flattened and it had come up, yeah, very high. And of course, you always have a few idiots who don't stick to the instructions, but that's life. Ooh.